which is just a quick disclaimer before I start the information I provide is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes and is not a replacement for professional medical advice. Today we're going to be talking about the arguably most common used herb, lavender. Lavender is easily recognizable from its bluish purple flowers that bloom all summer and a little bit into autumn. It is low growing and has stems and clusters of flowers. Lavender is native to Eastern Africa and the Mediterranean, but it will grow in a large range of climates. The early uses of lavender range pretty greatly. The ancient Egyptians used lavender for perfume, cosmetics, and in the embalming and mummification process. The Romans used it to wash their clothes and to scent their bath water. It was used so much in this way that the washerwomen at the time were referred to as lavenders. The Spanish and the Portuguese used to use it on church floors and throw it into bonfires on bonfires on St. John's Day to ward off evil. Women would also drink a concoction, la concoction, a lavender concoction on St. John's Day with the hope that they would dream of their one true love. And men would sometimes put it under their pillows with the hopes that it would give them the confidence to propose to anyone they wanted to marry. On the other hand, prostitutes would also use lavender as a way to entice clientele, but to also protect them. And that's why they are also referred to as lavenders in addition to the washerwomen. Lavender is now used in an abundance of ways, both medically and magically. It is used to help aid in banishing magic, purification, clarity, love, sleep, and healing. Some people use it by keeping it in an amulet, amul, amulet or a mojo bag to help ward off evil. It is used in ritual breaths to promote clarity and to induce calm energy and to filter out any negative thoughts or negative energy. It can also be used in a different way but with the same purpose by boiling it to release a home from negative energy or space from negative energy. Another way to use it against negativity is to burn lavender incense or burn a lavender smudge stick. The scent of lavender flowers is very calming. So burning lavender, drinking tea, with lavender in it or sleeping with lavender under your pillow is a great way to enhance dream magic. Lavender has also been used in a multitude of love spells, whether to rid yourself of an unhealthy relationship or to attract a new partner to you. Wearing or rubbing lavender on yourself is a great use in love magic. Medically, lavender can be used to treat depression, anxiety, stress, insomnia, upset stomach, hair loss, acne, rashes, and bruises. It is also antifungal when it is used as an essential oil. Overall, lavender is a really great herb to have when used both medically and magically. And if nothing else, you can use it as an air freshener. And this is my finished lavender page for my Book of Shadows. And I actually do offer these as prints in my Etsy shop. Obviously not the original, but they are printed on toned cardstock. So not this, because this is toned paper, because I'm sticking it in a sleeve, but the ones that I offer are toned cardstock. Okay, bye.